Hi friends, in this session I am going to show the demo of Spring Cloud Stream using uh, Apache Kafka. In my previous session I have showed the demo of Spring Cloud Stream using uh, RabbitMQ. So RabbitMQ by default provides management UI uh, where we can see the exchange then uh, queues but in case of Kafka it will not be having any management UI to see our uh, uh, created uh, topics. Uh, code. Through Java code it is same for uh, uh, RabbitMQ as well as Kafka but internals only differs. In case of RabbitMQ it uses uh, from exchange the messages will be delivered to topic uh, from queue. From queue we will be able to consume that message. So but in case of uh, Apache Kafka it uses uh, topics. From topics we will be able to read the messages. So to start uh, Apache Kafka, first we need to start Zookeeper because it works on a distributed way. So uh, Apache Kafka needs Zookeeper. So I have started my Zookeeper ser server. After once the Zookeeper is up, we have to start our Kafka server. So I have started my Kafka server. If you want to see what are the topics uh, available for this, we have a uh, command to get the uh, list of topics so kafka topics i have to use the list and the uh, kafka runs on 9092 and zookeeper runs on 2181 so when i uh, use this i'll be able to get the list of uh, uh, topics which are already available in this uh, kafka so currently i have three uh, topics so by default apache kafka will not provide any ui so i have downloaded one ui from the internet uh, kafka tool here we can able to see our broker topics and consumers so uh, hyphen hyphen list kafka topics whatever the topics it has given uh, we are getting the same topics in this uh, ui also so now i am going to uh, spring boot my uh, ide and i am going to create one uh, sample hello world application to connect to apache kafka similarly uh, to consume messages from apache kafka so I am going to create new uh, spring starter project. Uh, I am going to give a artifact as spring cloud stream Kafka. I need uh, spring react uh, spring Apache Kafka cloud stream. Then I need web. Spring web. If you want to enable uh, health endpoints, we need actuator. Spring boot actuator. So I'm going to add these dependencies. I'm going to click finish. So uh, it's going to load all the dependencies. Here is my project. If I come and check in pom.xml. So in my pom.xml we are having our spring boot actuator, spring web, spring cloud stream and because it is connecting to Kafka I need binder Kafka. So we have added these dependencies. So I am going to my main class. So this is my uh, main class, spring boot main class. So I need to use at the rate enable uh, bindings at the rate enable or at the rate enable bindings. So uh, same like uh, uh, RabbitMQ we have used source of to send the message sync to receive message and processor for both source and sync uh, we can use the same things here also for uh, spring apache kafka also let me add the import statement so i am going to use uh, source dot class and uh, sync so it's array i'm going to use array of two so start class comma uh, sync dot uh, 
class so i need to add import for this too if you go inside source I think I have added wrong uh, import. It's Java. It should be Spring message. A uh, Spring uh, Cloud Stream messaging dot source. Inside this, we will be having message channel. The channel name is output. So it is message channel. Channel name is output. And for sync, it is subscribe channel, which is having a uh, channel name as input I go inside sync it is in subscribe channel name is input subscribe channel name is input so because this is subscribable channel it is asynchronous if you want to use synchronous we can use pollable pollable uh, channel so now I'm coming um, to my application so first I'm going to create one model uh, to send message to Kafka so I'm going to create package model creating on class name as employee so for employee I'm adding some uh, attributes private int id private string name private double salary uh, private uh, string address I'm adding some four uh, attributes I'm going to add the setters so I'm going to use getter setters Similarly, I am going to add two string method. So my true string method is added. So now I am going to uh, create one rest class to publish the message. So I am creating one more package rest. Dot rest. So here I am creating employee publisher class publisher employee publisher so I, I need to add at the rate rest controller to make the classes uh, rest application and I am giving a uh, request mapping as slash employee slash employee so I need to get access to that message uh, so so that I should be able to publish the message so I'm going to use this message channel output to publish my message so I'm using message channel I'm going to use auto wide Spring will provide this dependency for me. So auto bar. Now I'm going to write one post mapping to publish message. Public employee. Um, send employee. In the request body, I'm going to get the employee object. Employee EMP. Return employee. Before returning the employee, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this output channel and I'm going to send this message to Apache Kafka. So we have send method to send the message. So uh, by default, uh, Spring Cloud does stream expect of type messages. So I'm going to use message builder. 
dot with payload employee dot build if you want some headers we can add headers so I'm going to save this similarly I'm going to write one consumer uh, to listen these messages so I'm going to use public void consume messages so here I'm going to get employee object employee EMP so we need to use at the rate stream listener we need to give the channel name here it is input so I'm going to just print this message EMP so now I'm going to start my uh, application so I'm going to start my main class run as so if you see with logs it's able to connect to the it's giving same error channels because we have used actuator so it's giving actuator endpoint and uh, we have a Kafka topic output for outbound and input for inbound and our Kafka server runs on localhost 9092 and we are using version 2.3.0 it's a fail to create a, a Kafka topic let me uh, restart my server so when I restarted it was able to create uh, both consumer as well as publisher for output one it, uh, it is output topic for input it in input topic with the group name is some anonymous because we have not used any group name so if I go to my uh, Kafka yeah, if I refresh I should be able to see two more uh, topics yeah we got one input topic and one output topic So now let me publish one message to this output topic. So employee name uh, we have added ID instead of age, salary and address. So I have published message. If I come here, I should be able to see the message is published. It uses byte array so cluster id with this is message is published so if i come to my kafka tool i should be able to see one message in my output yeah we got one message because it's uh, showing in the byte array we are not able to read properly from input to consume the message we need to send one message to our input channel so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to use the uh, global name for both the input and uh, output channel and so I'll send the message to same output channel similarly I'll read the message from the same channel so I'm going to stop my server so I'm coming to application.properties spring.cloud.stream.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring.cloud.spring
stream dot bindings dot input dot destination so I'm going to give the destination equal to test similarly for output also I'm going to give destination equal to test so now the input also will be sending uh, listening messages from the test topic output will publish the messages to test topic and I'm going to give the group name as group so I'll copy here so I'm going to use group name dot group equal to equal to group so I'm going to save and I'm going to start my server it's saying port already available I think I have not stopped this one so let me restart this so now it is started So if we see now group id is group because we have given group name as group so let's go to postman and publish some message so i published one message so i published to test and similarly i'm able to receive that message see from kafka consumer i'm able to receive the same message we are able to publish and we are able to receive similarly if i want to enable the uh, actuator health endpoints i can enable by setting management dot health dot binding binders dot enabled equal to true by default it is false so what i will do i will enable health endpoints management dot health dot health dot Bind us dot enable equal to true. So let me start again. Now, if I go to my uh, postman, if I able to hit actuator endpoint, we should be able to get the health of the Kafka server local hope. 8080 slash actuator so we have health is in actuator slash health endpoint so when i hit see it shows my kafka is up if i stop my kafka server from the command line we'll get kafka is down or maybe i'll uh, stop my broker So now if I come here and if I try So it is taking some time because it was not able to connect to the Kafka server And we should receive uh, it's a down Here also we are getting broker is not available let's see in postman so we have received a status as down it tried for some time after that it has written the status is down uh, thank you friends if you like my channel uh, videos please subscribe to my channel